Hello! How's it going? I heard it was time for video games. Well, I mean... Not necessarily. It's kind of time for whatever. 7 p.m.? You kind of just... You kind of just do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Sorry uh, for no stream yesterday. Uh, my sleep has been garbage. I almost succumbed to uh, bad sleep today as well, because when I woke up there was like this sick-ass rainstorm happening outside. And let me tell you, the temptation to just continue laying in bed and just chillax to that whole scene was pretty strong, but... I, I I gathered all all of my willpower, and uh, here I am. So today I'm gonna be playing uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is a very cool game uh, about uh, a cyborg man with a sword, and that's that's pretty much uh, all you need to know going into it, in case you didn't already know. Because uh, the game starts speaking for itself uh, right out the gate. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to make the game, how to put the game at a better resolution, so it's gonna be a little small for me, but it should be pretty much par for the course for you guys. Kids are cruel, Jack. That's true. You're here for MGR? Well... Then you're in the right place! Need to make it a little bigger. Okay, good. There we go. So hey! It's a cool man with a sword! Uh, in case you aren't familiar with the... Uh, Metal, Metal Gear franchise, uh, Raiden, uh, is the protagonist of Metal Gear Solid 2, wherein, uh, he was, uh, a dorky nerd who, uh, was being raised by the Patriots, who were secret, the secret shadow organization Illuminati that was ruling the world. Uh, and he underwent a bunch of bullshit in order to recreate the circumstances that made uh, Solid Snake such a cool guy. Uh, and then they were like, "Well, all right, that that was that was fun." And then he kind of goes away for a little while. And then when he comes back, he's a cyborg man with a sword. Ali <sighs> Lule Low, what? Uh, and then he stops an entire boat by himself, just by standing really good. That's a lot of lightning for one guy. Who does Raiden think he is, a spirit of thunder? Alright. Let's get into it. New game. I'm gonna play on normal, because there are a couple of bosses uh, that really suck if you're playing a uh, new game on hard mode. Uh, play a tutorial. Sure, I think the tutorial takes like a minute or two. Just make sure I remember the controls. Well, let's begin with a quick warm-up, shall we? Check the Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. You can jump over obstacles. But the ninja run will get you across Ooh. them more quickly and easily. So, I don't look quite as cool as I did on the main menu quite yet, but we'll get there. So, this game is pretty cool about, like, just hold the go fast and be cool button, and you will go fast and be cool. 
your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. Ooh. Yeah. So, uh, character action game. You run around and do cool shit with a sword. No other games implemented the cut the cutting mechanism, which he found strange. Yeah, the Zendetsu mechanic is pretty neat. Try and neutralize all the enemies that appear. String light and strong hits together to perform combination attacks. So a lot of stuff in this game is just like figuring out what attacks are going to be good against certain enemies in certain situations. But at a fundamental level, gonna be hitting the XXX and the YYY uh, a whole lot. You also need to protect yourself. First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. Okay. Uh huh. So the parrying mechanic. There we go. Ooh, yeah! So the parrying mechanic is the big thing about this game. Uh, in some games, uh, it's a lot about uh, dodging attacks or interrupting enemy attacks. Uh, in... Sorry, I'm talking over Doctor here. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foes movements carefully. Right. So, parrying uh, is a very aggressive form of defense. Uh, so it's just like, hey, an enemy is about to attack you. Attack them, but better. And then, uh, against certain enemies, uh, doing so will open up an opportunity for you to zandetsu them, which is this. It's just you go into slow mo and you can. You can cut, you can cut them into a lot of parts. Seems very strange as a uh, Metal Gear game. It's not very stealthy. No, this is a, yeah, this is not a traditional Metal Gear game. This is a platinum game with a Metal Gear veneer, so to speak. This is a character action game, a la Devil May Cry, and so on. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. <laughs> Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Deterrence. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. 
freaking fly got onto my microphone. But I failed to kill it. Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Oh, hey! It's just a cool fucking dude in the middle of the road with a sword. This sick ass red lightning katana. I wonder if that's gonna be relevant. He's doing the thing that I do. Thank you very much for the gift sub, gift sub Dan. Congrats to Dylan for being the recipient. Oh my god, man, that, that smile! with a sword that can cut through people like butter better release all of our troops yeah so this game like the first cutscene starts out very Metal Gear and it's just like oh man riding hanging out with this like this the prime minister of I think it's South Africa some somewhere just oh hey Hanging out with politicians, being a cool secret agent guy, and then a dude with a sword comes out, and it's like, oh, I see. And then Raiden gets his own sword out. With, like, the cool. Like, that lightning briefcase is so fucking cool. Gift subs can be targeted, but I think they can also just be chosen to do to be random. I don't know. Serious heals on this dude? Oh, for sure. Artificial compound eye unit. Alright. We're in it now, boys. Hey buddy, you gonna step to this? Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> Just had to wait for him to get close enough. You'll need to choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. What? Where are you going? Stay on your target. I... The limo is in trouble. Hmm. Get back there, ASAP. I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. This face isn't fucked up. Oh yeah, there's... Some stuff is gonna happen pretty pretty soon here. Oh shit! Dang it, I was trying to cut up this cool tree, asshole. Get out of here. So yeah, this is, this is one of the big things about this game. It's just like, hey, take out your sword and cut stuff. It's fun. I know! I'm, just, I'm looking around for loot, man. Chill. Yeah, 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 yeah! Also, 
Uh, something to keep in mind, the current UI is very reminiscent of uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, which is the game that this uh, this game is kind of a sequel to, kind of, a little bit. Stream decided you don't get to watch, oh no! Oh god, the launchers. It's gonna take me a bit to get used to this game again. Because, as a platinum game, there's a lot going on in terms of all of the different controls and mechanics and such. He has swords in his feet? No, he can just, like, hook his sword to his feet. Also, hey, big cool robot! So this is a Metal Gear Ray, which is, like, the big plot point of Metal Gear Solid 2. It's like, oh shit, they had a Metal Gear. And Metal Gears are supposed to be the world's secret top... the, the military's secret... Black Project. I forget the wording. Literal stiletto heels. Oh yeah, I guess Raiden probably does have a bunch of knives. Just Oh shit! This guy looks different than everyone else. That means he's important. Whoa. That guy has cool, uh, cool scissor swords. Can't believe a robot would do such a mean thing. I know, right? You better put him down. So you're Jack. What do you want with the prime minister? I want him dead. <laughs> Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? <laughs> Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. Sons of the Patriots. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now, I won't. Not while he's still useful. <laughs> so long. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh right, the giant robot. Are you guys ready for the first boss fight? So we've got... Yeah! Yeah! You can parry the giant robot and start cutting up its leg. Cut up the turrets on his legs. Also, you deflect bullets while you're doing your your ninja run. Shit. Oh wait, can I get it to? Let's see if I can get it to do the tail swipe. Pull some monster hunter shit. I don't remember how to get it to do the tail swipe though. Just gonna cut your face. It's so fucking big. Wait. Yeah. Come 
Come on. Yeah! Oh shit, laser beams! They upgraded this giant robot! Yeah! Just parry this gigantic building sized robot's charge attack with your sword. Oh shit. Ah, oh, damn it, there was my chance. I locked onto his leg instead of the tail. This giant robot is also a giant wussy. Well, he is the first boss, to be fair. Also, uh, pay attention to the audio cues during this fight, and just like, how the music changes up when I start doing cool shit. And that happens in most fights. The dramatics are very important. Oh shit. Yeah! So fucking sick. The meme song. Like, yeah, it's the meme song, but it's also just fucking cool, though. Alright. Gotta chase after the guy that's kidnapping the Prime Minister. Woo! Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. So yeah, the fact that the ninja run handles a lot of the parkour for you while also making it look incredibly stylish. Really nice. Really appreciated. Cause then it's just like, yeah, you know, you focus on you focus on what's really important, right? UG stands for Unmanned Gun Platform, or Unmanned Gun of some sort. Woo! Ow. Jump too early. Whoop. Running into the stairs wall. Look. It not perfect system. I not perfect player. Use your cool sword to cut down missiles. Blow up the turret. It's the first time you've seen someone destroy the top of the head? Huh. Yeah! Just fucking jump across the missiles! Not over yet, though. It's still doing it. Come 
Gotta run down this building while it's shooting missiles and lasers at me. Split it right down the middle. Cut this giant robot in half. S rank, baby. All right, this guy. Characters have such incredible facial expressions. What do you mean, what the hell? He's a cyborg. You know they can do cool shit. Slide! Fucking cyborg drifting. Also, like, that giant robot fight was just part of the level. It wasn't... It wasn't, like, the level boss. It wasn't the last boss. It was just... Oh my god. Raiden. Raiden. <laughs> that was just, like, one of the first things you do in the game. You guys like politics? Nope. Time for cool guy to get up. Mind if I got in? Oh, you're saying. Give war a chance. Oh no, Prime Minister! Using him as a shield, but he's an unstoppable cyborg. Don't worry about it. You got blood on my suit. Now I have to fight the even cooler cyborg ninja samurai man. Yes! Notice how he doesn't have a health bar. Fucking guitar.
No, no. It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. <laughs> oh, my God, fire sword. He'll be all right. <laughs> Gun Iato. Yeah, I was trying to remember the term for that. <laughs> also. Red, are you all right? Oh no! I gotta fight him. Eh. 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 I'm gonna get you. Eh. Oh no. I'm staggered. Eh. Is that oil or blood? A little bit of both. So there's a lot to talk about after this sequence is done. Yo! Wannabe cool guy gets bullied by infinitely cooler guy. when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. And now my boss, a cool Russian guy in a track jacket, just coming out on a machine gun. No, I'm good. Just give me five and I'll, I'll be right back at it. He said the thing! He did say the thing. Sam almost didn't make that jump. There is no universe in which he wasn't going to make that jump, because he's so cool. Ah, Behind the hillside. Hey Raiden, you fucked up. You fucked up as badly as you possibly could have. So, a lot to go over. So, uh, let's see. Uh, counterpoint, he wasn't competent at the end of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 either. Yeah, so, even... It, that's the thing about Raiden as a character. Raiden was introduced in 2 as a bait and switch to Snake. The event during throughout the course of Metal Gear Solid 2, the real protagonist is Solid Snake again, except for most of the game you play as Raiden, who is kind of just being strung along the entire time. He's just kind of there for a lot of the game. Like things happen around him and he doesn't have a ton of agency, so he's kind of just like this kind of like he's just kind of he's kind of a weenie the whole way. Uh but then 
uh, in Metal Gear Solid 4, which is the direct sequel to 2, because 3 is a prequel to 1, <laughs> to the whole series, really. Um, uh, in 4, uh, Raiden comes back, and he's a sick-ass cyborg ninja. And he's like, I've been through a lot. He, he lowered his voice to sound cooler. Uh, and relatively early on, he has an incredible knife fight with uh, the one of the guys that he killed in two, because the guy wasn't dead because the guy is a vampire. Don't worry about it. So Raiden becomes way cooler in four uh, after he becomes a cyborg ninja. Uh, but even then... Uh, first time you see him come back he he kind of still gets knifed all to hell it's an incredible fight uh but he does still lose that fight uh and then he spends most of the game uh getting some dialysis for his cyborg blood uh and then he comes back and uh he uh he stops an entire, like, giant submarine warship battle boat thing. Uh, just by, like, he, he just stops it. He's just standing on the edge of the dock, and he just pushes back against this thing that just completely destroys the dock that he's standing on. And he lives, which is cool. Uh, and him doing that, uh kept Solid Snake from getting killed by the giant boat. Because Snake was just going to get run over by this giant boat. Uh, and then Raiden's like, uh, well, I'm going to keep being a cool guy even though stopping the boat caused me to lose an arm. I think he lost like both arms and maybe a leg. I don't remember. He's all fucked up at the end. Uh, so, him losing an arm there, uh, him saying, not again, is because this is not the first time that he's had some some full-body transplants going on. Uh, so yeah, l lot, <laughs> lot going on. Uh, can you even parry uh, Sam in that fight? No. Uh, so Sam's attacks are just so strong in that fight, like he is just so completely overpowering Raiden that a lot of your normal combat techniques just don't work against Sam because he's so good and strong and powerful. Doesn't his girlfriend lie about him having a kid in 4? I thought the kid was his. I don't remember. Oh, wait. Rose talks about being pregnant and then talks about... Uh. Yeah, so Raiden also has a girlfriend and her name is Rose and she's... important? Question mark? Uh, she... She pesters him throughout most of Metal Gear Solid 2 just by like calling up and being like, do you remember what day it is tomorrow? Uh, and talking about when they went to see King Kong in the movie theater and shit like that. And then maybe she was a robot the whole time? I don't know. She pretends uh, the kid is the Colonel's? Right. So throughout the course of Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, she pretends that she is dating the colonel, who is, like, your your mission commander guy in Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 2, but he turns out to be a, a robot, a fake AI robot in 2, but he's real in 4, and Rose is pretending to be dating... Campbell the Colonel for reasons? I don't... Rose lied about having an affair to keep their son's existence a secret so nothing bad happens to him as a bargaining chip against Raiden. That makes sense. Because, like, the whole point of Metal Gear Solid 4 is they're fighting against the Super Illuminati. The Patriots. 
Oh, uh, that's another thing. Uh, SOP was brought up uh, at one point during that first level of the game, Mission Zero, where we cut a giant robot in half. Uh, SOP uh, was the Sons of the Patriots, which was a system uh, to like basically keep war in check. It made it so that uh, in order to shoot guns, you would have to have the right nano machines. Um, and like unID'd guns were it tended to be like basically super war crimes. Uh, so uh, soldiers would have all sorts of nano machines up in them to uh, keep their emotions in check and to make sure they don't commit war crimes and to make sure that they can only use proper weaponry and make sure that they can't use the weaponry to kill random civilians, except that doesn't work out super great. And at the end, uh, they, when they shut down the bad parts of the Patriots, because if they shut down the entirety of the Patriots, the world would collapse because the Patriots are basically running the entirety of society, so they shut down the bad parts of the Patriots, and one of the bad parts of the Patriots was SOP, so now, so that was allegedly going to be the end of the war economy. This is the first time you heard that she may have been a robot. Uh, Rose may have been fake threat, well, it's unclear at what point Rose gets replaced with an AI in Metal Gear Solid 2, because most people get replaced with an AI towards the end of Metal Gear Solid 2. But maybe she was an AI the whole time, it's unclear. Metal Gear Solid 2 is dumb. It's still pretty good, but it's dumb. Anyways, that's, that's most of the relevant stuff that you need to know. Uh, at like, a fundamental level. Too is weird, but you like it being that weird. Yeah. I mean, I love the Metal Gear Solid games, just in general. Alright, three weeks later. I'm in a cool ship that's that looks like uh, uh, Metal Gear Ray's head. The front of the ship kind of looks like the Metal Gear Ray head without the armor on. Look at that ass, though. How is it, Raider? So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel to fly like a bird? Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovaric. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. Oh, right, that's another thing. Absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy sidewalks. Gotta slam some Gatorade. The FC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is that combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand? That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Gamer energy is stored in the spine. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Yeah! Andrei Dolsev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. 
and his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement <gasps> LLC. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. Yeah! You've met. The only problem I see is that nickname. <laughs> I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. Have you seen how sweet my ass is? He doesn't stand a chance. No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. No. So that's another thing about Raiden. Uh, Raiden's design. Uh, Kojima specifically requested that Raiden be made super hot. Uh, and his team was like, we thought he was joking. But he was not. And then when they were making Vamp the vampire, uh, they were like, when he told us he wanted a vampire in the game, again, we thought he was joking. And again, he was serious. Alright. Cyborg Body 2.0. Way more cyborg. And also just a cloth bandage over his eye for some reason. Because he wants to look cool. Nano gauze. Alright. Let's see if I can find the cat. I don't remember where the cat is, but I do remember there being a cat around here somewhere. <gasps> there it is. What's up, kitty? How you doing? Alright, check out this cool cat. Hua! Ninja cat! Yeah! So, you can't hurt the cat. The cat is a sick ass ninja, just like you. I can't remember if this was like a Dark Souls 2 secret or if it was just nothing, and it's nothing. Better than you, apparently. <laughs> Raiden should wear an armor of cats. I don't think strapping the cat down is going to make it any more agile. Oh yeah, we can, uh, we can talk to our friends. Begin customization, you'll start re story mode from the last checkpoint. Nah. Uh, hey Boris, what's up? It's Raiden. I'm on the ground. Copy, Raiden. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or octo camo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damage, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap to Arich. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... difficult. Even for you. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. I've got electrolytes to replenish. Hmm. This is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright. Just fuck them up, Torvaric. Do not get reckless. Stay safe and stay focused on your mission. Like What's up, Kevin? Out here. The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely going to see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. Uh, if you finish the game, you unlock Sam's story. Will I play that? Yeah, I will be playing Blade Wolf's uh, story and Sam's story. How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption check. Damage levels check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. 
Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? Uh, I'm good. Roger that. Let me know if you change your mind. Dog-shaped robot buddy. Yeah, we'll be meeting him soon enough. After Africa. That ambush was no joke. <sighs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. You're right. Thanks. Raiden spends so much time in this game trying to sound incredibly cool. And sometimes he succeeds, but sometimes he sounds like he's just trying way too hard. Raiden, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from seized nanopaste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. <laughs> but ah, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more... Just dunk your sword in Gatorade. Hell yeah. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm a man of my own. God damn it, I forgot. I, I forgot that's actually what he said. Gory torture <laughs> are pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc, I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? So, that is something that I forgot to cover from Metal Gear Solid 2 about Raiden's backstory. Uh, Raiden uh, was a child soldier that was uh, raised in Liberia, uh, and he earned the nickname Jack the Ripper, uh, because he murdered so many dudes with knives. He was just so good at knives and murdered so many dudes. Um, and the person that raised him as a child soldier was Solidus Snake, who was a clone of Big Boss, the greatest soldier to ever live, Basically a brother to Solid Snake and Liquid Snake. And technically the superior ver clone to both of them. And also he was the president of the United States. And also had Doc Ock tentacle arms. And the final boss of Metal Gear Solid 2 is him. It's Solid Snake, the president of the United States on top of a building in downtown New York after a giant boat runs into it. Uh, it's it's something. There's a lot going on. The history of the series is rich. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's fight some dudes. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To penetrate, but, damn it. The right to deflect an attack and expose your enemy to There we go. Yeah! Gotta steal the juice right out of him. Whenever you engage in battle, I will designate a battle area for you. Stay within the area to avoid collectible damage. Kind of a shitty ambush if you show yourselves before attacking. Don't worry about it. Oh man, I killed three dudes. I feel so strong and powerful. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, Ooh. are off the yeah. radar. Hmm? Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where did Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. <laughs> right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> <laughs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, there's still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. <laughs> it's a bit cold, Ryden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Time to increase the peace. Right. Yeah, okay, Raiden, whatever you say, bud. Says man scared of his vampire cyborg ninja co-worker. Zandatsu tutorials now playable via the VR missions. Raiden, you need to head I know. I'm looking for secrets. Okay, if I go back down to the beach was there an extra fight down here so one of the problems that i have with uh uh platinum games is that uh you know, character action games in general there are a lot of secret fights i know but first make your way through this building there are a lot of secret fights that you can only access if it's like you progress to a certain point in the mission and then backtrack and then it's like oh hey now there's more enemies here Pet the animal on the beach. I'll 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 see if there's a pet button. Dramatic walk. Nope. I'm gonna pet it with my sword. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Boop. 
Repair nano paste. So, uh, a lot of times there's stuff hidden inside uh, destroyable containers. And if you want to, you can go into blade mode and chop them up that way. Some things aren't destructible, though. Whoop. Hold up. Yeah. So you can stealth impale dudes from above. Something that Sekiro totally just ripped off. That action is what Raiden considers a stealth kill. Tactical espionage action. No, th yeah, no, this is not a stealth game. I don't think they even tried to consider this a stealth game. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. So I've got some some Batman detective vision mode. Uh, let's see if I can actually stealth this part. Uh, like, you can do some sections in stealth. Not a lot, but some. Yeah! Half-Life 1 is a stealth game if this counts. Yeah. The game's title line is Lightning Bolt Action. Is it, actually? Never paid attention to that. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? No, I'm not doing anything. Can we just Woo! a little bit? Enemy sighted! Rescue the civilian! I almost full stealthed it. Well, I got it. Let him know he is safe. Hey, buddy. Thank you, thank you. I will not forget this. Later, dude. Another excellent hostage recovery. Ignore the fact that my sword totally would have just obliterated that guy if if the game had taken that into consideration. <laughs> Alright. Any other secrets around here? Oh shit! It's an unmanned gun! You can parry this thing, just like you can parry most things in the game, but certain attacks... I think it's like... Yeah, those. Uh, any attack with a yellow outline. Yeah! You cannot parry. Ah, 
damn it. Why do mooks so survive so many sword slashes? Well, wouldn't be a whole lot of challenge to most fights if they couldn't. Ah, damn it. Sendatsu. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting a lot of bees because I'm not. It's taken me a while to get used to uh, the parrying again. Mooks are built to be killed in one hit with parries. Yeah, a little bit. Rocket launcher. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no! I've been s I've been seen. Ow. Rocket launcher is actually pretty good. Uh, recovery. Nah. Rocket launcher though. We rode Rocket's last mission, that's true. There we go. This fight's doing this fight's going a hell of a lot better. What how did that guy get his attack? Damn it. Oh well. Rockets. Uh, wait. Did I miss an enemy? Zoop. most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Time for collectibles! I'm also a hacker. New VR mission added. Alright, are you guys ready for another boss fight? Raiden should just plug himself in, I bet he has USB ports. <laughs> Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. Whoa! Owned by boxes. Yeah. And you are. I am IF prototype LQ84I. IF 
prototype. Interface prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high-level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> I am here to kill you. Fair enough. That's it. Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Time for another boss fight! <sighs> Against this cool robot dog! I don't remember how to fight Blade Wolf good. I remember there were a couple of like specific tactics that made this fight a lot easier, but I don't remember any of them, so this fight's probably just gonna be tough. Oh god. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Calling in some mooks. One of them had started to throw a grenade and I just knocked it right out of his hands. Gotcha. Alright, come on, motherfucker. You end up working for a dog. It's a really smart dog. Also, yeah, if like something threatened me with a chainsaw, I would probably follow its orders. Just as a general kind of kind of concept. Time for the lyrics! Come on. I forget what the lock-on button is, so I've kind of just been... <laughs> ...been improvising. Alright! Stab the dog! There's a way to, like, cut off its chainsaw at a certain point, uh, with, like, parrying a certain attack. What would an AI know about freedom? <laughs> and then he explodes. So, whenever you kill a proper sentient boss, uh, you get some, uh, 
Assassin's Creed style, like, oh, I got some shit to say before I explode. You're actually really good at this. Who? Me at Metal Gear or, or Metal Gear Rising or something else that I missed? <laughs> this is not the first time that I've played this game, just something to keep in mind. I've played through this game many times. I deal with these assholes again. There's a faster way of getting rid of their shields, I just don't remember it. Just like parrying good, I guess. Grenades? Yeah, that might be it. Okay, hang on. Let me. Uh, game controls. Here's my combo list. Uh, camera control. Switch lock on. Okay, right bumper. There we go. That's gonna make some of these fights a lot easier. Oh boy! Use Ninja Run to escape the a huge barrage of missiles blowing up this bridge! Keep running! There's three helicopters now! Shit! <laughs> why did I... Why Why did that happen? <laughs> well, so much for me being really good at this. I keep getting stuck on cars, is the thing. And also, like, what was that? What was that? Goodness gracious. My first game over and it's to a frickin' just auto-scroller, basically. Oh, I was right there! Come on. Rude. Unmanned gear. That's what the G stands for. Ah, oh, damn it. Give me this rocket. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. Ah. There we go. Wait, what? Nope. Come back. Oh my god. No! God damn it! <laughs> I want to send that through the helicopter! Camera is your enemy? Oh yeah. Yeah! There we go. Looks like someone needs a red hawk kick. Oh man. Yeah, I, I do... I, I'm very much looking forward to unlocking some of the moves. Because that's going to be a pretty big deal. I think that's the thing that's throwing me off so bad, playing through this game again, is not having all of the endgame moves, because I, like, did so much stuff with a, a complete file that I'd gotten used to. All of the cool shit that you can do by the end. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a dude with an arm around here somewhere. There we go. 
Suffer not the birds to live. Whoa! What? What was that? Whoop. There we go. Even the jet wings have Gatorade. If you have the right ID data stored in your left hand, perhaps you could find Locked. a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it. You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Doctor, there's an invisible wall. Kevin, help! There's a wall here. So if you manage to unleash the dew from multiple enemies uh, at the same time, you can just mash B to grab all of the juice in a row. Aha! Doctor, turn off my game inhibitors. Dun 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 There we go. Give me that arm. Bravo! Excellent work! Hmm. There was classified data embedded in that hand. Oh wait, wait, wait. That man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. <gasps> what? The Patriots? Okay, yeah. I couldn't remember if this bonus fight was unlocked now or a bit later. It is available now. God. I hate these birds. Flying enemies in character action games are always bad. Especially when they have fucking guns! Get, get back here. What's up, dude? Nice toss. But not nice enough. Let's see. Yeah, uh, that seems about right. My nano machines don't let me pass this line. Alright, let me in. Alright, upgraded Mook. So this guy can survive a little strong, a little more punishment than the others. So I blew, a, I took off his arms, and he just decided to kick me with his leg instead. I was gonna try to keep going 
with pestering him. Just completely uh, Black Knight from Monty Python's Holy Grail situation, but the other guys were starting to get up on my business. Tis blood of but a flesh wound, yeah. Okay, I know there's secrets in this house, but I don't remember where. Which is the problem with, like, most of this game. It's just like, I know something's somewhere in here. Through the photo frame. How's the... wait, no. Hang on, wait. A technology that uses stealth camouflage technology to reflect l light into a 3D image. It'll take more than a girly magazine to get the attention of emo emotion suppressed cyborgs. This should do the trick. That's why he's the elite mook. He doesn't let not having arms stop him from his mission. Do, 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 do. The first Metal Gear soldier is immune to the horny. I don't think that's true, but I don't remember enough to dispute it. Now, weren't the frog soldiers uh, immune to the porno magazines as well? No excuses, pick up a weapon with your foot. I mean, Raiden does that. Why can't they? Oh man, I bet I'm gonna have a cool boss fight somewhere over there. Mook? Mook? Oh! Important characters! I wonder what her cool weapon is. <laughs> Ryden, what happened? You got all horny from a from a, a kiss. I'm heading for the refinery. Woo. Wearing his coat, like wearing your coat like a cape, it generally is actually pretty cool if you take into consideration that in order to do that, you, like without it just falling off constantly, you have to have relatively broad shoulders. You gotta have like a stature to you. Not shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh. Where'd he go? Aha! Aha! Got you with the horny hologram, buddy. Oldest trick in the book. Whoop, come on, let me up. 
Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, stealth kill the giant robot. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. I almost got the full stealth. No damage, baby. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take that S. There are some fights in this game. I, so, I... I have S-ranked every fight in this game at least once. Uh, I don't remember if I S-ranked them on, like, all difficulties, but I've definitely S-ranked every fight in this game at least once. There are some fights that getting the S-rank is real tough, because... If you don't uh, do no damage, which is a massive uh, boost of points, you need to do it so... Like, you need to fight so incredibly well. It is unreal how hard some of those fights... Like, especially some of the, uh, the named boss fights. Yo. Fucking Razor, chill. Stealing focus? Razor Synapse just randomly asking me to log in. But yeah, uh, there are certain boss fights that are just like, oh boy. But yeah, in the Metal Gear, uh, in the Metal Gear series, horny people have no rights to either to be either conscious or alive, depending on. Uh, depending on who you're currently up against. <laughs> Dr. Health Razor is doing the thing again. Why did you install this? Damn it! Try to duck around the corner real quick. Wasn't stealthy enough. I got an arm. Wait. Ah, oh, he just explodes. I should have just cut off the one leg. Because I think, like, that is a way to. You can't pacifist this game, obviously, uh, but there are ways of uh, uh, eliminating enemies non-lethally. Where if you uh, if you make them like completely unable to fight but not dead, they will uh, activate stealth camo and just peace out. Alright, this is the bonus fight that I was thinking of before. So this bonus fight is pretty tough. Because it's like, hey, remember how much trouble you had with the helicopter when it was just one? Well, now there's two. Yeah, 
Yeah, flying enemies are a lot more difficult to deal with if you don't have access to certain moves. Oh god! <laughs> the Ferris wheel, no! Ah, get back here, you son of a bitch. Yeah! So if you have the helicopters stunned, uh, then you can jump up their rockets and Zendatsu them that way. Wait, no. Uh. Aha. God damn it, cult. Can we buy those moves? I'll buy the moves uh, in between levels. Because going into the move shop uh, makes it so that you go back to your last checkpoint, and I, don't, I just don't want to bother. Right. The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cut, cut the fence real good. Yeah. Alright, time for geckos! So these guys are really annoying because it can be kind of tough to deal with a lot of them at the same time. And if you get grabbed, they uh, they stagger you and stun you and make you have to waggle the stick, so you're a little bit more at uh, risk of getting hit by someone else. Rolling into destructible, the Virgin rolling into destructibles in Dark Souls versus the Chad Raiden Ninja mashing light attack. It's cool. Oh right, like, for some of these uh, camera drone things, instead of destroying the thing itself, you can just destroy the thing it's attached to, which is fun. Stuck in an animation. So you can ninja run over and under the lasers, but you have to know that the lasers are there first. 
So if you just run straight ahead, it'll work. Yeah! Laser grid. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. De oh well. oh my god, these drones. Hate the gun cams so much. Nice aim. Yeah. Ah. God damn it. Oh wait, no, I still got the arm. Okay. I thought because of the way that he was posed, I wouldn't get the arm. Oh my god. Don't die. I'm not gonna die. It's just... God. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, that's... that's why... That one was the problem, because I didn't know where that one was. The one that was directly above me... I was cognizant of, like, how to get out of the way, but then when I got out of the way of that one, I would get into the way of the other one. Is that all of them? Did I trigger all of the alerts that this place will let me? Okay. Oh god. You. Fuck you. I ain't even playing. Let's get out of here. Oh. Data storage. There's a lot of hidden collectibles in this game, and some of them are a hell of a lot more of a hassle to find than others. Sendatsu and keep slicing until you strike so true that your frames get destroyed. I don't think I've actually managed to accomplish that uh, in the PC version because there are like I got the box man. Uh, yeah, uh, usually the game will start unloading stuff 
before you get so many parts that your frame rate gets wrecked, but I definitely managed to accomplish that in the 360 version. Now, wasn't there right? Uh, wasn't it you had to come up through here? Yeah. Okay. I still remember a couple of secrets, at least. Endurance plus one. So that's a pretty nice pickup to find, because it's just 10% uh, increased max life. At this point in the game, at least. More VR missions. Oh boy! Boss fight time! I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. <laughs> no, Sayev. Where is he? Where's Scarecrow? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. But I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. Grr. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq, in Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. Oh boy. My enemies fell like domino, one after <laughs> another. God. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift without challenge. Dramatic train. Yeah, purpose. sorry. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. So, this lady's uh, boss theme is called A Stranger I Remain. Uh, and a lot of the boss themes, like their lyrics are... Basically all of them. Uh, the lyrics are based on the character or the fight that they happen in. So, A Stranger I Remain, all of the lyrics are uh, all about Mistral. And also, it fucking owns.
So the gimmick against Mistral is... Uh, she's got a lot of these adds, like she summons a lot of geckos, but you can destroy uh, her weapon uh, with those Zandatsus as I showed you. God. The early phases of the fight are pretty annoying if you don't have a ton of uh, attack upgrades because just getting grabbed by geckos constantly is annoying. Uh, once you get some attack upgrades, you can destroy these geckos in one hit, but I'm not at that point yet. Yeah! Yeah! So the actual weak point on the weapon will change. So you actually kind of have to aim a little bit, as opposed to just wildly swinging and hoping that you get it eventually. I mean, you can, but you have limited time in blade mode, so... God. Time for the next phase. This is where the fight really starts. All of her attacks become a lot more threatening, uh, a lot more range, more geckos uh, are around. Because these, she spins like in from a lot of different directions, parrying her attacks becomes a lot more difficult as well. I remember to walk on. God damn it, fucking geckos. Yes!
frozen solid. Only a B, because I... It took me forever. <laughs> Mistral, report! Your vitals are dropping. I lost. So this is how they felt. What? Dying. For a cause. Great. No. Hold on! I am sorry. He was... too much. I do not need apologies. I need you alive! But... I know... You will never fall. What? What is this talk about? The Timon Car. Jetem? Mr. You've never... She's not talking to you, idiot. You! You killed her! You fly your nuts! Murder her! That's rich coming from you. It's over, Josiah. Surrender. <laughs> I think the point is okay, Jim. Translation. <laughs> Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Oh man. Shit. Be a quit Russia money. You make Russia money. It is no plan for Abkhaz. It is their prison. <gasps> but now, they will be free! Kaboom! And as is tradition, time for Raiden to get fucked up at the end of the mission. Crazy son of a bitch. Raiden? Raiden, what happened? Bastard blew himself up. I think. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LT. Amused she can talk while dead. Yeah. Well, I mean. Most characters are just, like, brains in a robot body, so as long as you've still got a little something... As long as it's not completely obliterated, you can still communicate a little bit. This is Pequod, en route to LZ. So, I did manage to find all of the fights, which is an accomplishment in itself, but that C is uh, weighing heavy on me. Everyone's full body cyborgs, yeah, pretty much. Raiden's basically robot from the chin down, yeah, basically. This is a pre recorded message. Huh, dying. Well, that sucks. Uh, yeah. I still got an overall B on the mission, that's okay. Uh, for the first time through. Uh,. Being as rusty as I am. Polearm L'Etranger. I'm not actually a big fan of any of the uh, uh, alternate weapons uh, in this game. I may unlock them just to have them, but... Uh, I just prefer the sword overall. If I had to describe your streams, it would be B. Bah. Kaz's Bob. Now Raiden can refill his cloak bar with every hit. Oh boy. Customize Raiden's body. Doctor, upgrade my dick. Okay, main weapon. Oh right, the fox blade. I don't remember what the special effect on the fox blade is, but... Uh, it costs a lot. Uh, this is one of the DLC weapons, I believe. This high-frequency blade, used by an ex-foxhound field agent Frank Yeager, aka Grey Fox, after he was outfitted in a cyborg ninja chassis by Dr. Clark, Grey Fox's soul still echoes through the blade. Right then, this is Doctor. I have replaced your dick with one of those left arms you picked up. Cool, eh? Uh, unique weapon... Yeah. 10,000. Maybe. Skills! 
Now this is the real shit. Defensive Offense, an upgraded version of Raiden's cyborg body firmware that allows for a faster, more detailed feedback that al to be delivered to his brain synapses. This detailed neural feedback allows Raiden to freely sidestep enemy attacks in any direction and effectively counter their aggression. This attack is extremely good. I'm getting it. Uh, aerial Parry, also one of the main reasons why fighting uh, aerial enemies in the first mission sucks so bad, is you cannot parry enemies while you're in the air. But now I can! Updated version of Raiden's cyborg body firmware that improves reaction speed in his quadriceps, allowing a special upward thrust with his weapon when held in his foot. This is a cool launcher. Sweep Kick, an updated version of Raiden's cyborg body firmware that improves reaction speed in his inner hip muscles, allowing him to nimbly lower his body and execute a special foot sweep maneuver. Uh huh? Thunderstrike, updated version of Cy Raiden's cyborg body firmware that allow that improves his reaction speed in his triceps, allowing him to channel air pressure into a shock wave. Uh huh? Uh. Oh, here it is—the red hot kick. Falling Lightning, an upgraded version of Raiden's cyborg body firmware that upgrades the functionality of his gyroscope systems, allowing him to twist his body freely in the air and dive down like a lightning bolt to kick his foes with devastating results. Uh, improves wrist movement, enabling him to attack immediately as, his, as he draws his blade. Yeah. Lightning Strike, uh, improves balance during high speed movement, allowing him to deliver a rapid series of damaging strikes. Yep. And then Stormbringer. Uh, improves balance while upside down, enabling a tornado-like spinning attack with his weapon held in his foot. Uh, body upgrades. Oh, it's just like alternate bodies, right. Uh, so, unique cyborg frame upgraded to aid Raiden in his fight against Sam and Desperado. Equipped with the blade mode and able to absorb fuel cell electrolytes from his enemies via high frequency blade, it unfortunately lacks any any kind of self-repair unit, meaning Raiden must manually extract repair material from his foes in order to recover from damage. Original cyborg body. Uh, this is what he looked like in Metal Gear Solid 4. A recreation of the cyborg body used by Raiden during the Guns of the Patriots incident. Functionally obsolete but boast and boasting an obviously unnatural jaw, its battlefield potential is extremely limited. And then, Grey Fox. A chassis pattern after Grey Fox's body circa the Shadow Moses incident, which is Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, though it was termed an exoskeleton in those days before the advent of modern cybernetic technology, it could not be taken on and off at will. Because Grey Fox's body got all fucked up during uh, the fight between Solid Snake and uh, Grey Fox in Zanzibar Land, which was Metal Gear 2, I think. How good is this game? You played a lot in Metal Gear as a kid, but never played this one. Uh, it's very different from the other Metal Gear games, but it's an extremely good character action game. So if you like games like Bayonetta, um, uh, Devil May Cry, it's... Uh, Similar to those kinds of games, and it is a very, very good one. Metal Gear 2, which was also the game that gave us a boss that was a space ninja from NASA. Right. <laughs> I, I have never played through Metal Gear 1 and 2, the MSX versions, the real versions of Metal Gear 1 and 2, uh, myself, but I have heard some wild shit about them. Anyways. Uh, custom body equipped with self-recovery nano paste and electrolyte packs. The large amount of cyborg healing and regeneration for, uh, features allow the white custom body to excel in a force support role. The white armor reminds one of medical support personnel's uniforms. Inferno armor. Equipped with a full complement of grenades. In, uh, created as a body to serve in mid-range fire support role. The wide variety and number of equipped grenades allows this body to be particularly deadly. Its fiery red color betrays its status as a grenade-throwing machine. Uh, commando armor. Uh, with multi-purpose uh, RPG launcher and portable SAM missiles built in, this green custom cyborg body harkens back to the outdoor BDUs worn by infantry soldiers of yore. This body excels in UAV... This body excels against UAVs, tanks, attack helicopters, and other anti-infantry weapon systems due to its extra munitions. In Metal Gear 1, you fight a big towering robot that's hell-bent in turning the world into nanomachines. I just made this up to see if you read this. I did! 
And I also know enough about those, like, I have, I know a bunch about those games, I just haven't played them. People always talk about the deadly poison in the sands of our hamsters and the owl that hoots to make the guard think it's night, but nobody remembers the space ninja from NASA. Uh, I mean, the Fury was a boss. Which was a guy during the Cold War that went to space and got freaked out and turned into a fireman. Okay. So, I didn't actually upgrade my damage, or my health, or anything at all, uh, but the skills will make things a hell of a lot easier moving forward. Oh, yes! This cutscene! Yes! So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah! Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. <laughs> you sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Yeah. And AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw him a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. Dog friend. Dog friend. Also, this is taking place in Mexico. Oh, sorry, cursor. Yeah, this is taking place in Mexico. So Raiden is like, oh, I gotta go undercover in Mexico. I've, I've got the perfect plan. <laughs> Meanwhile, actual Mexicans. Dog-shaped robot buddy! Adios, amigos. ¿Viste? Qué raro, eh? Hay que hacer que no lo vimos. I ain't getting involved with that shit. Let's go! You can tell it's Mexico because of the sepia filter. No, it should, it should be a little more yellow, but yeah. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado-affiliated research center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly yeah, in Breaking Bad, you can always tell when they were in Mexico because the scene turns completely yellow. I don't know why. We need the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers, so you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> Sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Bye, Blade Wolf. Right. Unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. Yeah, Blade Wolf is really cool. And now he's our friend. He's basically our on site support. Well, we've got uh, Kevin and the rest of them. Uh, doing remote support. Oh god, these guys. 
Maybe I should have upgraded my weapon a little bit. Yeah, well. Live and learn. Yeah! Damn it. So these guys have cool drop kicks. Uh, cut off its arms. Yeah, any type of enemy in this game that grapples is such a massive pain in the ass. Use it to conceal yourself if necessary. There we go. No, let's actually Zendatsu this guy. Yeah. There's the ride I know. Yeah. I do like how it's like stealth is my specialty. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Whatever you say, despite him having like the big shell incident was a pretty big deal. Big Shell Incident is Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, and the entirety of the Big Shell Incident is Raiden being extremely stealthy on an oil rig that's been completely overrun uh, by all sorts of super secret government folks and things. And terrorists and soldiers, and just, it's crazy, shit's crazy, man. Aha! Knew there was a secret around here. Relentless murder machine, that's our riding. Yeah, well, I mean these days. VR mission 5, okay, so I don't think I've missed any VR missions yet. But I probably will. Is there a bonus mission if I go back? Can I even go back? Because I destroyed all the boxes. Oh well. Or a bonus fight, I'm in. Oh well. Onwards! Right. There is a boy in these sewers. Ah, God damn it! I knew it was there and everything. It still got me. So yeah, these guys are an ambush for if you go immediately for that box. You really gotta look up during the sewer section. There's a boy in the sewers. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here, Blade Wolf. What do you want? I thought you were dead. Eh. No damage, though. Which is surprising. I thought I totally took damage during that, but alright. Uh, 
Oh shit. Gotta save the boy. So these guys are pretty tough. Yeah! <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference. The Vanilla Ice song from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie reference. Shit. Uh, I was trying to use the grenade. Body blocked. So, like, each of these guys are pretty tough on their own. Having to fight multiple of them at the same time is pretty rough. Can't see shit, because I was locked onto the guy that has no legs and is just lying on the ground over there. Stop locking onto the guy that is. Oh my god, please. Okay, fine. I'll kill it, alright? Fine, game. I'll do it. Just please stop locking onto him. Enemy status continues to not have legs. Yeah, look at this guy! There we go. My rating is probably gonna be god-awful because it took so long to kill these guys because I cut their legs off and then they weren't dead. <laughs> they were just lying around. America president. <laughs> yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our oh, damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them skunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg. You know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this good need dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What well, the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scone don't put me on a rass boat. They pack us all a big old doji container, next thing we know, we're here at the Jumbi lab. All kids, like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them skunt want to do. Snuff us out. And got all day again. So you ran. Uh-huh. 
Is Shemei not a bad-ass robot ninja man? Same as you! Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever? Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me? Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing. But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain would get cut out? Run your ass out of there! But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. I really like George. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dumped the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. That's a lot of robots to send after a kid. I mean, it didn't work. So, I feel like they were probably correct to, to try and send robots after the child. And also, you know, if I were running an operation where I was kidnapping children and harvesting their organs, I would probably not want people to know about that. I feel like they were they were doing the right thing trying to make trying to make sure the kid doesn't get away. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? Hmm. Is there some way I could sneak past, huh? It's How's that gonna help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. Whoop. Yeah, cyber box! So, there's... One of the best Easter eggs in this entire game is surrounding the box. I mean, a lot of really good Easter eggs are surrounding the box. Nobody spoil it in chat if you know what it is. I will show it off later. Don't you worry. Can I call Kevin back? Miss Trowell mentioned someone from her past. Oh. Any idea oh, well. who that could have been? None. I checked her file again, couldn't find a thing. Definitely not Dolzaev. Probably not Sundowner either. No. Sundowner was the big bald guy that like said give war a chance. So far. Maybe someone involved in backing Desperado. If so, sounds like they're providing more than just financing. Maybe they share the same philosophy. That'd be bad. People willing to die for their leaders aren't so easy to predict. Yeah, but other than the winds, Desperado's cyborgs are all just hired contractors. They're probably emotion suppressed with nanos or drugs or whatever, but that's about it. Hmm. You're probably right. Okay. Alright, time for stealth. I'm self time for stealth. Close enough. Dun oh, they saw me! Yes! Okay. I, I remembered how to do aggressive offense. So, aggressive offense is this, uh, like, sidestep that I'm doing. 
extremely good against enemies that uh, uh, that have unblockable attacks. Or unparryable, as it were. Always be on the lookout for yellow attacks, because yellow means... usually means grapple, uh, but generally means unblockable. I tried to do the offensive offense there, but I just went into the wall. Damn it, did a little too late there. That went pretty well, now that I remember to remember the button combination we for that one really good move. The caller's position is on your solid on radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Give me the bonus fight. Always give me the bonus fight. Here he is. And it's dead. No idea what I'm supposed to be Zendatoing right now. Kind of just, kind of just doing it. Oh god, there's more. Oh my god. I hate geckos so much. A rank! Pretty good. Pretty good for a bonus fight. They tend to be difficult. Okay, no, it's here. Okay. I was like, oh man. I think I missed a, a chest. But I didn't. It's right here. Now I just need to figure out how to get up to the thing. Oh wait, wasn't it like... No. Yeah, there we go.
what's the the launcher move? Uh, draw attack. Bam! Pretty good. Uh, no. Uh, oh God, why does keep putting curse the cursor in the middle? Flurry kick, stab kick, uh, triple kick, upswing. Uh, that's not it. Was it sky high? Forward, forward, X. No, oh, there's a oh God. Launcher. Uh, during light attack, slight pause and then X. remember if that's necessary for any secrets, but like there are some moves that you can kind of do pseudo double jumps with. handle this guy. Just gotta wait for him to come back around. Mm-hmm. Yes! <laughs> no idea how that actually worked, but... It did, and I'll take it. And by it, I mean that thing's spine. What? Ow. things move so goofy. Yeah. They're goofy guys. Kind of just scoot around. There's another one, but I'll come back for him after I... I bet it's you! Just a box. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No! He spotted me! Damn it. Fighting these guys sucks so bad when they just decide to constantly use their flamethrower. Because when they do their spin, it's perfect. But the flamethrower is just like that. I'm gonna dodge out of the way and get like two hits in, because as soon as you start hitting it, it scoots away. Do these guys spawn indefinitely? Do not recall. They're a good source of extra points, so... Right. I 
I've discovered the entrance to the lab. Sending coordinates to your Soliton radar. Hmm. Is there anything up there? It's hard to tell. Well, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Aha! Box soldier! So you unlock uh, a new weapon if you kill all of the box soldiers in the game. Oh, also this whole area is supposed to be like a puzzle. It's like, oh man, you gotta find, you gotta find the, the hidden entrance to the place. jump kick didn't lock onto the thing, and I almost jumped into the thing. Another box. If I go back from here, does that trigger an extra fight? Or do I have to go even further? Or is there even an extra fight in this area at all? Honestly, do not remember. I remember this section. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first you need to take a dump. I, wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. High class comedy. Oh, right. This part. I remember this being one of the most difficult areas to stealth. Like, it seems like it would be really straightforward, but... Just the positioning of the enemies makes it really awkward to actually accomplish. Ah, damn it. This is like one of the few spots in the game where they mock you for failing to stealth it. Ah! Fuck you, dude, I was doing sick air combos! And you do this to me? What? 
I'm, I'm slicing, but I don't know where he went. There he is. Camera, please. Security, they may shut out all outside network connections. Please do your best to avoid being seen. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Doctor. All right, this fun part. Room full of brains. Woo. But, wouldn't let me parry out of that. Come on. Ah, damn it. That room. Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah. But I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Oh, hey. Within sev like within a handful of minutes of each other, crazy German doctor man. Well, first you need to take a dump, and then immediately afterwards, did those did those soldiers seem like child soldiers? They are extracting their brains and everything. Probably best you stay out of there. We don't want to risk harming any of the brains. Fair point. Fair point. Oh. And then we get to control a gecko. Onto cyborg's heads from behind. Then an electric shock should knock them unconscious. There it is. Yeah. Da, 
stuff. There is, like, an achievement you can get here, I think. Be too close to the corner. Okay, that's fine. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Aha! Data store. gonna get it. Uh, yeah. If I talk to this this gecko friend yet. Hey buddy. Woo. cool sword so I can't open the box. been too long. I think that was all of them, though. Whoop. No damage. C, because it took so long. That's because I was trying to find the other geckos. It's most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Alright, are you guys ready for one of the best gags in the game? Yeah. Titan, I found something in one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs. Guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. <laughs> Good old USB connections. Yep. Oh, hey. The Sears program? Yep. Sicking my old Georgie boy used on the kids in Liberia. Of course, it's 
trick to the brain now. Feels as real as anything else. Your work is astonishing. And your work is light. We need to ship before our cover is blown. We've got some assholes snooping around. We just do not have the food quantity yet. Each brain has its own unique requirements. It's not like we can just pop them out with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> All right. Make your point. Oh, <laughs> thank you for understanding. Say what you have now. I'll destroy any unharvested inventory. Okay? But have you any idea what they cost? Last I checked, the children weren't exactly rare in the part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. yes you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takunse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. Gee, I wonder who the man in the suit camp? with Sundowner was. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. Definitely seemed familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. So yeah, uh... Uh, those brains are being harvested and they are being put on VR training based on the way that George Sears, the previous U.S. president, a.k.a. Solidus Snake, uh, trained all of his child soldiers. Tried and true. I mean, look how, look how uh, well-adjusted uh, Raiden turned out. So yeah, if you knock out all of these soldiers while you're uh, running around as the gecko, you don't have to fight them when you're running around as right. Yeah. Well, we were buddies when we were also a tripod friend. More life? No. I don't care about health upgrades, I want uh, energy upgrades. Bad news, right? We can't find George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. <laughs> Just getting my slide on. Oh boy, it's time for the grad fight. <laughs> Time to fight this big stupid tank. 
which has the uh, uh, rules of nature as uh, its boss theme. Ah, damn it. Damn it. There we go. Least memorable boss fight? Yeah, the grads aren't particularly interesting, but they're still... They use one of the best boss themes in the game. This is just like, it's just a tank that goes up on its legs sometimes. gonna like break this thing apart piece by piece. It's pretty good. Despite being one of the weakest boss fights. Oof. Still pretty high floor. multi-part Zendetsu. Got an A. I think the grad fight was one of the first fights, one of the first bosses that I got an S on. Armstrong, as in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. <gasps> a U.S. Senator! A shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. Presidential nominee. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal, one of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. Mm -hmm. The biggest ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshal and Desperado in bed together. Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. Mm -hmm. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs? You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Pat. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm hmm And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin, out! So hey, let's go... After we save these kids, let's go attack a uh, the headquarters of a uh, uh, international corporate corporation uh, that is currently uh, allying itself with uh, the largest PMC in the world and uh, the uh, the head of uh, that uh, big old corporation, a U.S. senator. Uh, who is currently the uh, the shoe in for the nomination for the presidential nomination in the year 2020? Gee, I'm sure there won't be any more. Uh, I'm sure there won't be re any really explicit uh, uh, ties between that character and uh, real world politics.
I'm sure it will be fine. Ah, there it is. Knew you were around here somewhere. Can I go even further back? Probably not. Sure, it'll be fine. Oh, I mean, it'll be fine. It'll be great, even. Hmm. Oh, rockets. Yeah. Yeah, when did uh, Metal Gear Rising come out again? Twenty fourteen. Wow. Twenty thirteen? Maybe twenty fourteen was the PC release. Ah, an artificial blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body parts for several hours. So what are they freezing and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. I don't know how involved in this game Kojima was. I know it was more than nothing. Uh, but I do recall this being a predominantly... Uh, a uh, platinum affair. Time to save the children. Shit. Time to gas the children. George! George! Right in! You've heard of chloroform? A potent anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Literally gassing children. Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender, or decide, the needs of the many, or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender. I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Hmm? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting, what if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Kayate! <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Stop it! Oh now. boy! I'll kill him, I swear! Don't worry, I'll kill him for you! Wow. 
Good job, Raiden. And now George is dead. Oh, I didn't miss any fights in that one either. Nice. Overall B again, but eh. Mariachi uniform unlocked. Mariachi uniform unlocked. Customize Raiden's body. Yes, of course. Mariachi uniform, yes, of course. Traditional garb for Mexican folk musicians purchased by Raiden at a souvenir shop south of the border in a misguided attempt to blend in with the locals. Sometimes you have to do a little child murder to stop big child murder. Yeah, well. Say lovey. Alright, uh, Stormbringer. Alright, before I unlock Stormbringer. Let's actually upgrade my sword a little bit. Uh, absorption is pretty good. Energy is pretty good. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get Stormbringer. And then... Can I get a fuel cell? I can. Sweet. Alright. That's pretty good for now. Well, time to restart the captioner. Testing. One, two. There we go. I got my cool car back. I don't have my dog in the back seat this time. President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farouk Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Hmm. Yo, me ninja brother. Oh, George, he's fine actually. About how you feel it? Never brother, nah. No brain, no more fascia while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah. That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! We've been here you go while I got them scorn in the base. Why the rat are you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aww. <laughs> Besides, I thought she didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. So now George has a sick robot arm. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. No! It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. Typical highway police. Attempt to shoot you in the face and then ask you to pull over. Killing isn't fun in games unless you get a sick robot body. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, right? They import those brains legally, for medical purposes. It's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Right, I... Hold that thought. Hold up, I gotta do sick drifting. I gotta have a high-speed police chase through the streets of Denver. Against cyborg cops with rocket launchers. Oh, there's my buddy. Woo! A 
Hey guys. Oh, they sent me right over the barrier. How kind of them. Thanks, Blade Wolf. You're so cool. You are not licensed to operate in this area. You're in violation of state and federal law. Guess you'd better arrest me then. Eighteen three one zero four point seven. Threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. And now I gotta fight the cops. Ah, damn it. I've always been really bad with, like, following up launchers in, uh, character action games, fighting games. As soon as things go into the air, I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Ah, hit the wrong button. Yeah. What? Why? Oh, because that guy was dead. Damn it. being defeated by this masterpiece outfit. Yeah, really, though. More dudes! Most important thing about the cardboard box. Alright? Best thing in the game. Alright, you ready? I don't think you're ready, but you're gonna see it anyways. If you go into the cardboard box while wearing the mariachi outfit. Your cardboard box wears the hat. It's so good! It's so good. Oh, also, hey, remember how the boss of the last level was a grad? Well, now the second fight in the following level is two grads. That's one thing that Platinum is really good about, is escalation. It's like, oh hey, 
You remember that enemy that was the boss of the previous level? Well, now, now, now they're a normal enemy. Just stuff pops off so quickly. Ah, tried get tried to get tricky with some aggressive offense or offensive defense. Cut that rocket. Yeah. But give me the thing. Oh. I got an A. As in, hey, check out how good I did. HQ, requesting this zone be designated for heightened security. Roger, upgrading security status. All right. Also, hey, it's my cool car. I know. I'm looking for secrets, Blade Wolf. Chill. I do appreciate how uh, normally when you get when you unlock like a bonus fight that you can do, uh, it's like Boris tells you, "Hey, you can go do this bonus fight if you want." Uh, but since you're currently like currently the story is that uh, Raiden retired from Maverick so that they wouldn't be complicit in him raiding World Marshal. Oh well, fuck me, I guess. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. I was talking about him doing that. Except in a different way. And then the game is just like, oh, you're trying to look smart, huh? You're trying to explain a game mechanic? Well, how about I contradict you right here, right now? How do you feel about that? I'm gonna be honest, didn't feel great. Here comes more of this. Ah, damn it. Yes. Ah. Launched him out of range. Still took him out pretty quick, though. Aww, only a bee. Found a cool rocket launcher, though. Ah, I can't open the door. I'm gonna go open the door just to see if there's extra dialogue or something. Boop. Nothing. Oh, right. What's your status? They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do this? 
Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Raiden. Boris, listen to me. That VR training. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. Hmm. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. I'm doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. Say so you succeed. Say so you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know a great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor. But he cannot. You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> All right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then. <clears throat> Officially, Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. <laughs> now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiva, Tavarish. Spasiva. All right. Yes, Pow! I don't know why that happens. <clears throat> but that's a thing you can do. And also, Boris is like, oh hell yeah, good job, buddy! You did it! Good job, you unlocked the secret leather version of that standee. Mission 9? Okay. I think I've finally missed some VR missions. Ah well. That oh, was it food time. Okay. I'm gonna go eat, which is also nice because it uh, gives me an opportunity to cool my room down because it's really warm in here. Uh, so, let me get some tunes going. Ba-ba. ha ba -da -ka ba ba Where is it? There it is. There we go. Ba-ba. Game has been very hyped so far. The outfit is the highlight. Oh, yeah. The mariachi outfit is very, very good. Anyways, uh, I will be back in a few. Enjoy the sick tunes. There we go. Okay. Yep, back in a few.
Thank you.
Hello, hi. Uh, sorry that took a little longer than I anticipated. There was a lot of food, and my stomach did not appreciate it. But I appreciated it. My stomach is just gonna have to deal with that. Probably didn't help that I have a Coke, uh, and I don't do super well with soda, but I wanted a Coke, so. Here I am. 140 calories for this thing, huh? 40. Yeah, I wish. 140. There we go. Maria. Okay. Back to video games. I, I had I had honestly forgotten that I was wearing the Mariachi costume. I mean, of course I am, but I still forgot. Giant robots just busting through the windows. Shit, it's done. No, oh, I was grabbed by a fucking gecko. God damn it. Geckos suck so much. I wish there was, like, a special thing for doing that really close to the window, where you just fling... fling the thing out the window. Also, these geckos have guns now! enough out of the, uh... Fuck you, fucking geckos. Couldn't act quickly enough out of the, uh, Zendatsu to do what I was trying to do. I was gonna be cool, I promise. Oh my god, geckos. Traveling across rooftops minimize enemy encounters. Because they can. A lot of these guys can fly. They have jetpacks. No, there's a rumor the MIBs come from Area 51. <laughs> I had forgotten that they were. Like, they had a specific name. The MIBs. The men in boxes. Please, let me look at the thing that I'm trying to fight. And they keep jumping down from the roof, yeah? Probably a B? A C. Oof. <coughs> Took so much damage. 
knows on dot saves. Doc, what's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and world marshal security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to override their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data, the research. Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. Oh, whoops. I was still muted, because I was coughing up a lung there for a second. But, okay, bye. Come on, buddy, answer me! Raiden? Raiden! Alright, let's try that again. Where is that? Hella chopper. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. It was definitely way too far away, but I was I was hopeful. Aw. Wasted all my dang rockets. Uh. H2, we could use some support. Next attempt a grenade. Tempting. Rocket launcher for you. Actually worked out. I am amazed. Oh, give me that arm. Give me that arm. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. <coughs> Damn it. I wanted that arm. If you click down the stick, you can walk while in blade mode. Oh, okay. Okay, but it sucks to do because you you click in like you click in the stick you click in the left stick, which is the stick that you use to look.
There's a reason why I didn't remember that that was a thing that you could do, and that's because it sucks. How bad do I want that arm? I wanted the arm really badly. So I definitely would have tried it, had I remembered that that was a mechanic at the time. Hollow chip. That's fine. Here comes another attack. Oh, a fight! That's way better. Yeah. One of the problems that I find with uh, character action games that have uh, very active defensive mechanisms, like in this game, you have the parry. Uh, in Bayonetta, you have the dodge, uh, and subsequently the uh, witch time. Um, uh, it tends to be a bit of a problem uh, in games that have that kind of mechanic, where, uh, damn it, uh, alternative forms of avoiding attacks uh, tend to be not as good. Like, just straight moving out of the way of attacks tends to be less effective uh, because uh, enemy attacks are generally balanced towards you using the active defense measures uh, more often. So like in this game, uh, uh, enemy melee attacks will like, a lot of enemies will lunge towards you from a pretty hefty distance, because you're not supposed to get out of the way, you're supposed to parry it. Uh, same thing in Bayonetta. You're not supposed to get out of the way of the attack, really. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, uh, to do a dodge, and then activate Witch Time, and so on and so forth. Uh... But also, in a lot of these games, getting out of the way doesn't feel particularly good because it breaks your flow of, uh... It stops you from, like, hitting the button and hitting the enemies and stuff. Like, it's just not... It's not as entertaining to run away from an enemy. In comparison to like, performing more aggressive defensive styles. That's why the, uh, the aggressive offense, this, uh, whoop, that move, is so good. Because it lets you, uh, it gives you a form of defense against an attacks that are not meant to be parried that doesn't, like, break your flow. So like these big guys, I can just I can just keep getting at them. Rather than it's like, oh, they're revving up their big overhead slam attack that I can't parry. Better leave. But then every time I try and actually like get out of the way of an attack, the range on the attack is just too big. Uh, well, stealth, I guess. Good, Raiden, very good. Aha! Character action games have win more, lose more swing to them. Uh, yeah. But that's one of the things that makes uh, Platinum games uh, so great is 
uh, those win more situations feel so good. Like, the games are just so stylish. Sombrero Disguise DLC for every game. Yeah. But you're supposed to be cops. What do they do? Some things World Marshal does not appreciate. You're on the contact! Oh no. Ah. I failed to save the civilian. Can I... Uh, uh. <laughs> well, I guess that technically worked. <gasps> you have an arm. Give me your arm. Oh, I think I broke the arm. Just because of the way that he was, he was holding his gun. God damn it. In order to get the arm in that situation, I would have had to wait for him to do, like... To not... It would have to be, like, doing a different attack, like throwing a grenade or something. Ugh. You cannot proceed any further via the rooftops. There is a freight railroad underground. The elevator ahead will take you to it. Yeah, I wonder if this elevator is going to fall. Whee! Oh, it's this section. This section is weird. This must be the railroad. It would appear so, likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. Bing! So now I gotta get that, uh... Good old fashioned uh, claw grip going. Because this ping is up on the D pad. Oculus Rift time. You're not the boss of me, Boris. I can expose myself if I want to. What the fuck? God damn it. Keep your pants on. Raiden doesn't have pants, he has cyborg legs. I keep delaying a lot of my parry attempts too long, and then I get locked into a different animation. Good enough. There's an achievement for go getting through this section uh, in perfect stealth.
but I think I have it already, so... Oh well. Even if I don't, oh well. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have all of the achievements in this game on the 360 version. If I don't, I have at least most of them. Alright, buddy. Come on. Let's see if I can actually get the stealth kill this time. Maybe you have to get the aerials, aerial stealth kills against these guys. Maybe you can't do the, the backstab stealth on these guys. This area does look really cool. If you're not just constantly pinging. Why? Camera. Camera? I'm- I'm- please- camera. Really. I'm- I'm- trying to keep an eye on this guy. Oh god. try and get the aerial stealth kill this time. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Okay, you can get a backstab. You just it's just at a weird angle, I guess. So jank. Camera giving me a whole heck of a lot of issues. Oh hey, geckos. See shit. Camera making it worse. Oh, right. You can quick tap left bumper in order to quickly use sub weapons. So, wasted my rocket. Oh my god. Kung Fu Gecko Man, which you can't really see because it's so dark. Sometimes there are Kung Fu Gecko Men. Which are just two geckos stacked on top of each other doing Kung Fu. Yeah, you can see that crowds of geckos are not as much of an issue at this point because I've upgraded my weapon, so now I'm able to take them out in fewer hits, so I can kind of just handle crowds of them with less issue.
see. Yep. All right, let me out of here. souvenir or two for Rose, and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining. Oh! Damn, Blade Wolf. Killer. Who knew a dog-shaped robot could be so harsh? Right. You have almost reached World Marshal Headquarters. Uh. Oh boy, another grad! Yeah. Damn it. Get down here. Boy, howdy. These fights are getting a little hectic. Yes! Thank you, Grad. Been a while since I actually successfully performed a Zandatsu. I think part of it might be that my uh, my wrist is getting a little sore because there's a lot of stick waggling and button mashling, mashling. Enemy ahead, Raiden. Avoid fighting if you can. Don't annihilate your my wrist. Don't worry. I'm not gonna. That's your job. No. Incorrect. You're not allowed either. <gasps> Arm. Eh. Yes. Did I actually get that arm? I think I'm I think that arm may have gotten destroyed despite the fact that I clearly Uh yeah, no. It didn't give me the arm. God damn it. Camera has been really having the time of its life on on this level. 
She's getting stuck everywhere. Now that I think about it, I wonder how much trouble this uh, this next boss is going to give me. Yeah, I can't believe that worked. But uh, yeah, this this boss is notoriously difficult. But also, the theme is extremely good, and I think it is one of the most fun bosses. Um, but this boss also took me, like, several hours of attempts, uh, in order to, uh, get a no-damage fight on higher difficulties. Also, Blade Wolf is back as a normal enemy! No gun for you. Gah. There we there we go. I rescued the dog from itself. Only a bee. And I'm slipping. Oh man. Any distant lunatic would have quit after Mexico. Jet stream, Sam. I heard you drop the land of Victor in Old habits die hard, Jack. But now here you are. A child soldier. Fighting for the children. <laughs> Please. What do you really expect to accomplish here? Play savior to a bunch of brains? And what? Earn a medal? Think about it, Jack. No matter how many Mexican kids we've got, or Africans we've buried, the first world looks away. No one gives a shit. Not the media, not the politicians, certainly not the average Joe. Too busy fretting for money, or sex, religion, fame. Whoop. There we go. But you are a man of mission, aren't you? Gonna fix everything. Just you and your new sword there. Solve everything with violence. Is that it? My sword is a means to an end. To protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you. All those cyborgs you've killed up to now. Maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, God Sam is so cool. Lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender, your blender. But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the nanos press. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. 
He's so good. Can we take him? What's wrong? The way he killed all the others? Oh god. Please god, don't let me die. Let's do this! This isn't fair. Little punk. Listen closely now. Die! Oh no! Across the jaw again. Raiden really takes a lot of hits to the jaw. No wonder he got it replaced, yeah. Only a C. Cause I wasn't all brutal. Raiden, are you injured? I thought they had a choice. Oh, whoops. A fair choice. Not like you. People are different. As opposed to AIs. You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. Uh, no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind, is not among my divine directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. <gasps> we served together on three previous missions. <gasps> he proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him dependable. Until now. Oh no! Sam used to be a cool guy. Now he's acting all weird. Send your taste buds a mile high. Raiden, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. All right. Time for a fun section where we're all hobbled. Because Sam got us all fucked up thinking about the emotions of the people that we're slaughtering. Which is fair. Ah, oh, it won't let it won't even let me uh, stealth kill folks, huh? Alright. Oh, well. That poor man exploded.
I don't remember if there's a faster way to get through here. I kind of remember just, like, making a straight shot for it. Shit. More dudes. Gotta keep limping. There's World Marshal Headquarters. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Oh no, I'm getting bullied! Sam, you son of a bitch. So black and white now, is it? Is your cause just? Or is that just what you tell yourself? Oh. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. Oh shit. New guy. My name is Monsoon. Of the winds of destruction. Yeah. I guessed as much. Mm hmm You know this one guy and that's it. Yeah, that makes sense. This guy says some stuff. Also, he is Magnet Man. All his body parts are connected by crazy electromagnetic stuff. He's a really cool guy. And Sam's like, yeah, he's a cool guy, isn't he? Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phenom Pen taught me that. All right. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on the killer. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater, means the DNA of the soul. They are the culture, they are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will to hate. Yes, they become a carrier envy, greed, despair, or means. How about food? Shit, is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Ugh. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. 
Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you take. Absolved your guilt when you enjoy it. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't looking at the guy giving us this big spiel, but... Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make. Nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! Mm. The bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What oh I boy. really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Oh boy! Time for the edge! Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. All right. Yeah. Time for Devil Trigger mode! <laughs> this is my normal. My nature. You've lost your mind. <laughs> oh yeah! Whatever. You are like us after all. Now you're just being nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. Yeah. Yes! So this song, Stains of Time, is so fucking cool. So this part is why getting a uh, no damage run is so fucking hard. Because if you mess up any of these parries, <laughs> you have to start the entire fight over.
And also, in the cloud, it breaks your lock on, so you can't use that to help you. Slice the helicopter. He's throwing APCs at me. Just cut them apart. <laughs> so sometimes you'll go into this mode where any time you try and hit him, he can just block. He can just dodge it by separating his body parts out. There is a way of dealing with, with that situation. Shit. So if you don't have Aerial Parry, he can get you with a pretty rough situation uh, when he uh, gets the launcher like that. The song goes hard. Wait until the lyrics kick in, man! So if you hit him with an electromagnetic grenade uh, while he's in that uh, just dodge everything mode, uh, it'll stagger him immediately so you can get some good damage in. Oh wait, that was a scripted one. Makes this fucking giant sideways Beyblade at you. Ah! To run, tried to run back around it, but it was still there doing its thing. And also, a bunch of explosives are flying off of this thing at all times. Please. <laughs> I did it too early. <laughs> No! I got too cocky. I forgot that uh, 
so you can't do it all with horizontal swipes. Yeah, but now you get you get to hear the song for longer, so that's pretty good. Damn it! I was like, oh man, I'm gonna get through the uh, uh, the IR cloud without taking any damage, and then I just didn't lock onto him after I got out of it. Don't cut off my memes! <laughs> Little awkward, but I'll take it. Oh, right. You can't hit him with the... What's that? Uh, I think that's called the Stinger in DMC. Can't hit him with the Stinger when he's on the ground. slices for the, t the helicopters on the top. Gotcha, bitch. What? I just missed. What? Come on. There we go. for the Beyblade. Ah. It may be possible to destroy the Beyblade. I think there's a way to do it, but I don't remember how. I'd rather not get hit by it trying to do it. Because despite him being down to 40% health, uh, his final phase is really tough. Because he can attack you from at really long range at different uh, from different angles. Yes! Damn it. Ah. Yes! 
cool. Yep. Damn it. Like I said, if you don't air parry that, it's a bad scene. Okay. More choppers. Alright, don't fuck up this time. I have a little bit of a health buffer, but it's still gonna be bad if I fuck up. Ooh, ooh, buddy. That was real close. The drops. Yes! Can't believe I actually hit that. Alright. Damn it. Oh god, that pillar. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, I parried too late. Ah, this is why. <laughs> like, remember how I mentioned this is one of the hardest bosses in the game? and how it took me literal hours to beat him without taking any damage. And that was at a time when I was actually, like, really practiced in this game. I mean, this man is fucking rolling. Bait out the attack, parry, and walk around for the backstab. <laughs> Clearly. This one's on me. Like, the pure challenge level isn't quite on uh, Sword Saint Ishin level, but. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. I go with Sword Saint Ishin. Uh, as an example of, like, a really difficult boss, because that is, like, the first boss in, in, like, recent memory that really gave me a ton of trouble. Just, like, several hours of genuine attempts, no bullshit. Not, like, trying to do it early or something, no gimmick run, just, like, it was just a really hard boss. Shit. Ah! Give me the drops, give me the drops. There we go. Alright, so horizontal, horizontal, vertical. Alright, so we should be coming down after that. Yes! Okay. I whiffed the first hit, but still managed to get there. One. I forgot. So the scripted one always happens at 40.
meme champ. Alright, it's almost time. What? Lingering hitbox, no. Okay. Last throw. Switch to slicing vertically quickly enough. Ah, come on. Damn it. Oh, this is bad. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Come on, don't miss, don't miss. Oh! Lingering hit boxes. Ah! Yes. The buttons, come on. <laughs> I think it read that I hit the uh, the B button and then the Y button, like there was a delay. What a shame. Slice it. There we go. Yeah. Fuck you! <sighs> yeah, combat rank C. Parse count is so great, yeah. Or be killed! Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. Your memes end here.
Ripper mode tutorial. All right, he got impaled. Right in. I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. <laughs> Later. I like Kevin a whole lot. Kevin is a really good straight man for uh, for Raiden's bullshit. It's like the memes. <laughs> Raiden is over there. The memes. Your memes end here. And and he's just calling in. He's just like, y you gonna be all right, man? Just, just making sure. <laughs> what a wild fight. The context of it makes it way better. Yeah. Yeah. Monsoon, like, the combination of one of the best boss fight themes in any video game, and also it just being an extremely cool fight, while also being very hard, but not impossibly hard. I think the first time that I played through this, uh, that fight probably took me over an hour. Making the mother of all, all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I missed a lot of fights in this one. Holy cow. Oh, man. This game's so good. This game is so good. I forgot how good this game is, but it's so good. I mean, I didn't really forget. I... Of course I remembered that this game was fucking awesome. How could you forget? But... I forgot how good. Just like... Every time that the lyrics come in, in any of these boss fights, is like, you just get an adrenaline rush. It's just like, oh, The lyrics are coming in, that means it's, it's time for the real fight. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. It's your favorite trope. I mean, it really feels like this game kind of, like, it kind of popularized that kind of thing. Oh man, I, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I'm a little dizzy right now. <laughs> <laughs> the fight was so intense. My wrists. Because, like... So... Uh, this game is a good meme. My wrists are... Am I okay? Yeah, so... Uh, in case it was not clear... How parrying works, right? So... Um, your light attack is the left button, so square on the PlayStation controller, or X on the Xbox controller, or Y on the <laughs> on the Nintendo controller. Great. Um, so you have your light attack. How you parry is you don't just hold in the direction of the attack and hit light attack. You cl You move the stick in the direction and hit light attack. So, like, during some of those, uh, during some of, uh, Monsoon's attacks, where it is just, like, hit after hit after hit after hit after hit, and just, like, constantly forcing you, uh, to parry, like, a really long chain of attacks, and then, like, during, uh, the smoke cloud, where you have to be ready to, like, flick the stick and uh, hit the button at any moment from any direction. It's really tense and it wears on you. It is it is tough to play I mean it's tough to play platinum games just in general uh, for a prolonged period of time. Bayonetta uh, is the game that gave me some of the worst wrist cramps that I have ever had in my life. 
Um, both Bayonetta and 1 and 2 are pretty bad about that. But, uh, this game is intense. It, it, it is, it is technically very demanding. You, you really gotta, you really gotta know what you're doing. Especially if you want to actually, uh, uh, Bayo needs to be taken bit by bit because they get intense. Yeah, just like you need to mash constantly. You need to waggle the stick constantly. And as with as is the case with a lot of character action games, uh, like in order to perform a lot of special attacks, like uh, the stinger, uh, or the like, the stinger is double tap towards the enemy on the stick and hit heavy attack. Doing that while you're also, like, doing, actively doing parries, and in the middle of, like, in the midst of doing a lot of things, like, trying to execute these moves, uh, can be tough, and then, like, oh, I'm doing, I'm getting attacked from two different directions, so if I want to do all of the parries, I need to, like, click back and forth on the stick and tap the button each time I'm clicking the stick back and forth. It's, it's intense. It's, it's tough. Like, this is, on easy mode, it's not nearly as bad, because it gives you plenty of life. Like, I haven't been using any healing items. You get a lot of healing items in this game, if you so desire. And I don't think you're punished for using, uh, items, uh, in this game. So, you're generally encouraged to, like, normally in, like, you know, Devil May Cry 3, uh, if you use items, then you get a huge penalty, uh, to your score at the end of every level. It's like, eh, no. This game... You, you go ahead and use your, your healing items, but in general I haven't been, because... It kind of makes the game drastically easier, so I like having the added challenge. Plus, most of my deaths so far have been to just like, whoops, I di I missed the button press, or whoops, I jumped off of a building. So, oh no, I I lost the boss fight during like a really dramatic, cool section, but I prefer having the the challenge. And the reason why it's like, oh, if you like the challenge so much, why don't you go to higher difficulties? Usually higher difficulties don't... Or at least, like, in a lot of uh, character action games, the higher difficulties don't add complexity to the fights. It just, like... Sorry. It increases enemy health. It makes enemies do more damage. Stuff like that. Even in final fights where it's probably fine to go with, to heal to go with the hype, yeah. So it, it kind of depends on what what you're going for, but I I like the feeling of accomplishment. Then you get Dante Must Die mode, yeah. But uh, in some character action games, uh, higher difficulty levels will uh, like they'll introduce more enemies or. Uh, like, they'll change up the enemies so you get harder enemies earlier, and stuff like that. Like, that kind of stuff I appreciate for higher difficulties, but... Usually, uh, I just stick with the normal mode, and... I think, uh, Revengeance was actually the first character action game that I... You know, did the thing that you're supposed to do, where I went back through and played through the game again on higher difficulties with all of my stuff unlocked. Like, I went full completionist with this game. Um, and... It, it gets, it gets pretty intense on higher difficulties. Like, there were some fights where even with, like, some of the, like, special New Game Plus, like, busted... Uh, super weapon, super gear. On higher difficulties, there were some fights where I just had trouble. Because <laughs> it's just hard. But that's one of the good things about uh, character action games. Uh, Well-made character action games present a lot of very genuine difficulty. Like Devil May Cry 5. There aren't a ton of fights in Devil May Cry 5 that feel like bullshit. Usually, if 
Like, if a fight is hard, the fight is hard. It's not like, the fight is hard because you need to figure out the gimmick, the fight is hard because you need to have this specific move unlocked and the game doesn't really tell you. No, it's just hard. Anyways, uh, it's getting pretty late. I shouldn't continue playing for the safety of my wrists. Uh, so, I am going to call it a night. Huh, cool. Um, yeah, uh, I could probably get through the rest of this game uh, next time I stream it. It's not super long. It's, it's no fat on, on this game. It's, you, you play it and you get through it and you finish it and that's it. I mean, then you play through it again because, you know, character action games just be like that. Uh, but yeah, I may be able to finish this game next time I stream it, especially if I start at a more reasonable hour. You own this game, but you took too long to start it. I mean, even if you watch me stream through it, I would highly recommend playing through it yourself, just because it's really good. But yeah, uh... Let's see, what's today? Wednesday? Well, technically it's Thursday here, because it's past midnight. Uh, tomorrow's stream, assuming that I don't get some sort of horrible migraine and inca get incapacitated again. God, I hope not. Assuming that I'm fine tomorrow, uh, I'm probably going to run, uh, either run a poll or just, like, have some folks, uh, throw out some, uh, requests for, uh, what I should play tomorrow. I could just finish Metal Gear, uh, Rising Revengeance tomorrow. I could play more Satisfactory. I could play, you know, this, that, or the other thing. My schedule has been opened up a fair bit, thanks to me prolonging uh, getting into Deadly Premonition 2. Uh, so, hit me up if you guys have any uh, specific requests or ideas or, uh, you know, so on and so forth. And you can hit me up uh, on Twitter, which is in the About section, I think? I think there's like an About tab on the Twitch page, probably. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter, uh, you can message me directly over Twitch, or ba -ba -da -ba -da, you could hit me up on Discord. Bam! Uh, yeah, I, I, I beat Monsoon. Uh, I died a couple of times because Monsoon is really hard, but it was really cool. We did experience the memes several times. Yeah. Uh, what is Monsoon's theme? Uh, Monsoon's theme is Stains of Time, if you want to look that up on YouTube just to listen to later. Uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, swinging by and hanging out and chatting and all that good stuff. Oh, thanks again to Dan uh, for the gift sub. Uh, and yeah, I think that's just about it. The memes hat. The memes. <laughs> thanks, Teddy. And thanks to, you guys, thanks to all of you guys for uh, hanging out, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.